Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for general information and educational purposes only. Students should test cybersecurity techniques in the secured lab setup. I do not take any responsibility, and I am not liable for any damage or problem caused while implementing the tools and technique. Hi. Welcome back to another episode on how to hack. Today, I will guide you on how to change your MAC address and how to prevent it from reverting back to the original one. So in this video, I'm going to cover what do we mean by MAC address, what it's used for, and how to change it. MAC address stands for Media Access Control, it's a permanent, physical, and unique address assigned to network interfaces by the device manufacturer. So, whether you have a wireless card, or a wired, or ethernet card, each one of these network cards come with a specific address that is unique to this card. So, there is no two devices in the world that would have the same MAC address. And this address will always be the same to this specific device, even if you unplug it from your computer, connect it to another computer, then this network device will always have the same address. So, you might already know that the IP address is used in the internet to identify computers and communicate between devices on the internet. The MAC address is used within the network to identify devices and transfer data between devices. So, each piece of data or packet that is sent within the network contains a source MAC and a destination MAC. Therefore, this packet would flow from the source MAC to the destination MAC. So, because this is a physical unique address to each interface, to each network device, and because it is used to identify devices, then changing it will make you anonymous on the network. Not only that, but the MAC address is often used by filters to prevent or allow devices to connect to networks, and do specific tasks on the network. So, being able to change your MAC address to another device's MAC address will allow you to impersonate this device and allow you to do things that you might not be able to do. So, you'd be able to bypass filters or connect to networks that only specific devices with specific MAC addresses can connect to, and you will also be able to hide your identity. Now, changing the MAC address is very, very simple, so let me show you how to do that. First of all, I'm going to use the ifconfig command to list all the network interfaces available on my Kali machine. What I mean by network interface is any device that allow us to connect to a network. So, an example is a Wi-Fi card, or an Ethernet card, and so on. So, you can see first of all we have F0, and this is a virtual interface created by VirtualBox when we set Kali to use init network. So, you can see the interface name is F0, you can see it has an IP address because like I said, it's connected to a network. So, if we go here, we can see it saying wired connected. So, this is the interface that represents the wired network that Kali is connected to, which is actually a virtual NET network. You can also see the net mask, the broadcast, and a really important piece of information, which is the ether. This is the MAC address of this virtual interface. Now, you can see similar information for my other two interfaces, the low and the long zero. The only thing is you can see for both of these interfaces, we do not have an IP address. And the main reason for that is because none of these interfaces is connected to a network. Now, low is the default interface created by Linux, and LON0 is my real wireless adapter, so I can use it to connect to Wi-Fi networks. But if I go on the network in here, you'll see Wi-Fi is not connected, because I actually didn't connect to any network, and that's why it does not have an IP address. Now, this doesn't matter because what we want to do is to just change the MAC address which again, is shown here under the ether part, so similar to what you're seeing here for F0. Now, in order to change any of the values that you see in here, you have to first disable the interface. So, in this example, we want to change the MAC address, so, that is represented by the ether and the value is right here. So, in order to disable an interface, we're going to do if config followed by the interface name, which is lon0 in my example, followed by down to disable it. Now, if I hit enter, you'll see the command runs with no errors, so it means that it got executed properly. 
And the next thing that we need to do is to change the option that we want to change. And in this example, we want to change the ether, which is the MAC address. So, first, we're going to type if config, we're going to type the interface that we want to change, one of its options, then we're going to type the option that we want to change. And what we want to change is the hardware address, so, we're going to do HW ether. Then we're going to give it the address that we want to change the MAC address to. So, for example, I'm going to use 00,11,22,33,44,55. Very, very simple command. We're doing if config lawn 0 to select the interface that we want to change its option. We want to set the hardware address, and we want to set this address to this specific address. So, you can use any address that you want, following the same format shown here. Just make sure your address starts with 00. zero. So, I'm gonna hit enter and again, we don't see any error messages, so, it means the command got executed properly. And finally, we just need to enable the interface, because we disabled it, by doing, if config lawn 0 down, so we just need to do, if config lawn 0 up, to enable it. Now the interface is enabled, and if we do if config again, and look at the ether part in here, you can see that it is changed to the MAC address that we specified. Now, this is done, and your MAC address has changed. Now, you can go ahead and start using the interface, and it'll appear to have this MAC address instead of its original MAC address. And like I said, this can be useful in so many scenarios. Now, keep in mind, the MAC address will revert back to the original one once you restart the computer, because we're only changing the MAC address in memory, we're not really changing the physical MAC address. But if your MAC address is resetting to the original one without restarting, then something is going wrong. And it's probably happening because your network manager is resetting the MAC address. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to fix a common issue where the MAC address automatically goes back to the original one even after manually changing it. So, as you can see in here I've already changed my MAC address to a different MAC address. Now, depending on how you're gonna use your interface, Sometimes the network manager that comes pre-installed with most Linux distros, including Kali Linux, will reset your MAC address to the original one. So, let me show you how to fix that. So, even if you go and connect to networks and disconnect and do whatever the hell you want, the network manager would not interfere with the value of the MAC address of your devices. So, first of all I'm going to clear my screen and I'm going to use a program called Mousepad. So, this is just a text editor and I'm going to use it to open a text file, so, that I can modify the configuration of the network manager. So, the configuration of the network manager is stored in etc, network manager, and it's called networkmanager.conf. So, this is a very simple command, we're using mousepad this is the name of the text editor followed by the location of the file that we want to edit. And like I said, this is the file that contains the configuration for Kali's network manager. So, if I hit enter, you'll see a new text box that contains the content of the file. And you'll need to do is paste these lines, and I'm going to include these lines in the description below, so you can literally just copy and paste them. Basically, what these lines will do they'll tell the network manager not to interfere with the value of the MAC address, and just leave it the way it is. So. If we change it it will not set it back to its original MAC address. Now, I'm going to do Ctrl S to save, Ctrl Q to quit, and we'll just have to restart the network manager for these changes to take effect. So, I'm going to do service, network manager restart. And that's it, we're done and now you can go ahead, change the MAC, use it whichever way you want, and it will always appear as if it has the spoof MAC address. So, once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept updated of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching. On to the next one. Peace.